hello my dear friends i would like to welcome you back and also i would like to extend my sincere thanks to all of you for watching this video here in this video uh, i would like to cover the three epidl the most three important epidl commands which is being used by most of the fea engineers the first command is to get the node number from the nodal coordinates another one is just opposite to this from the node numbers we get the nodal coordinates and the third one is let's say we don't have both then how do we get the node number in the selected set of entities and then we get the nodal coordinates for the corresponding node number so let's start with the uh, creating the nodes and uh, uh, getting the nodal coordinates of that node number so let's say i am creating a node n comma 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 this is a node number which is uh, having coordinates 0 from x 0 from y 0 from it means it is aligned at the global origin but it is you can see that it's n is not recognized begin command there are different levels in it is working in the APDL like begin preprocessors solution post processing also in post processing there is two types of post processing is the post one post 26 so this is a begin so it's not a begin command so it's a pre-processing command so we have to first enter the pre-processing prep 7 now this now this could work here now one node has created at uh, global origin now i am creating the another nodes 2 this 10 comma 10 comma 10 the another node is created here you can see that is the 2 which is having the coordinates 10 10 10 and is used to create the nodes okay so now the i want to get the nodal we here in this case it is a, it is very very small uh, problem so we know the node number and nodal coordinate but in the big fea model sometimes we have a selected set of nodes we have many things but we do we do have the node number but it do not have the nodal coordinates sometimes twice versus here so i'm starting let's say we have a node number i want to get the nodal coordinates so to get the nodal coordinates this is nx i mean this is nx is a one parameter and it denotes the x coordinate and the nx is again nx is a, is a epidial code and after that we have to put the that is a node number so i want to put the let's say i want to get the nodal x nodal coordinate for the node number two so this nx is stored with the parameter nx so i am storing another parameter ny is ny and again the node number is two so the y coordinates of the node number two is stored with the name ny this is nz so nz this is two so there are three parameters the three nodal coordinates are stored with the parameters nx ny nz okay so now i want to get i want to see these three parameters so there is another command status to see the status so there is star s t a t u s and uh, write down the the parameter name that is nx so you we can see the nx the nodal coordinates in x direction is 10 we can also see the similar way the y and y the n y again 10 let's say n z this is n z because you have seen in the previously earlier that we we have created these nodes with the 10 10 10 so we we got this with this parameter n x n y n z using the n x command to get the node number now let's say we have a let's say we have a nodal coordinates 10 10 10 but i want to get the node number so the another command is to get the node number is let's say n0 that is equals to node then we have to enter the xyz coordinates let's say 10 comma 10 comma 10 so we get the n0 so again this is star status and then n0 sorry n0 so we get the n0 is equals to 2 so the 10 10 10 is actually the nodal coordinates for node number 2 
there is another way we have already created an x and y and z so we can put here their parameters name like nx ny and then then nz then nz so here also we can see the the node number corresponding to the nx and y nz so here we can see that the the node command can be used either using the parameters whatever you have defined or we can use it for just putting their values and then one let's see we do not have both neither we have the node number neither we don't know the coordinates there are nodes but we don't know so how is it possible it is possible let's say we have a lot of let's say we have a very big fea model and we have a set of selected entities like we have sele selected a through n cell command that is we have selected the thousands of nodes and we want to get the node numbers and we want to get the again from the corresponding node number to the nodal coordinates for the for different operations and we'll tell you will tell you how these things are important in the different operations in the different videos so here uh, so for that we have to use target command target and that is that is I want to get the maximum node number in the selector set of entities and max and what want to see that is node then this want to get the node number okay so that is n and that is max so this is target command target and max is the parameter node is going to get the node number zero is putting this intensity it is put zero and because we want to get the node number so there is another is a num that is number a max that is maximum node number so that's this is stored with the name of n max right so we can we can see the n max status okay so this is n max status sorry i think i have written spelling mistake yes right so we can get the n max so the maximum node number it's it's not count it's the the numbering in the set of selected entities what is the maximum number so the maximum number is two because you know that we have created only two nodes so this is the two so let's say we we, we have created a parameter with the name n max okay and i want to get i want to get the uh, nodal coordinates corresponding to this node number so the similar way this is nx one let's say is equals to this nx and this n max so this nx one similarly nx two is equals to this sorry this is n y one is equals to n y and this n max Okay, so this is n z one is equals to n z this n max. Okay, so now we have created all the these three nodal coordinates corresponding to n max. So we can see this using status command s t a t u s comma. Uh, it's a uh, n x one right? N x one is ten. Another one is n y one. Just put here n y one. This again ten. Just put just yeah. Just put here n z one. N z one. This is again ten. So ten ten ten. So this is now we have covered here the three types of FDL command. First one is an n x n y n z FDL command. Another one is the node. FDL command and th third one is the target command to get the maximum node number in the set of selected entities. So this is the three important FDL command which is generally being used by most of the FEA engineers and it is well known and sometimes it is not being understood by most of the the FEA engineers with, with those who are working in the NCS FDL 
domain so i just wanted to thought that you need i need to just make a one small video so that's why thank you for being touch with me uh, and watching this video thank you bye bye